The one thing all musicians, songwriters, and producers struggle with is a great melody. But what if you could take a simple idea and turn it into something new and inspiring? And what if you could do it five times with one idea? Yeah, mind blown. What's up my friend, it's your favorite producer Siki, and this is the video about the piece of gear that changed my life, the blooper pedal. Blooper was created by Chase Plus Audio, a company based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. It was made in collaborations with Knobs, aka Scott Harper, and DSP code guru Mark Seal of 3 Degree Audio to help fully realize the radical ideas that Scott had for this pedal. So we've coded the scrambler and the dropper, I don't know, I think we've done it maybe four or five times. It's not quite right. But a year after the pedal idea was conceived was when trouble began. They worked day and night to get the prototype ready for the winter NAM trade show. The only problem, the prototype sucked. This sucks. The original idea just didn't translate the way that they wanted it to. Instead of giving up, they decided to show the prototype at the show anyways and gather as much feedback as possible from musicians. Pedal enthusiasts and musicians loved the idea of this thing so much, they managed to raise over $350,000 on the pedal's Kickstarter page. Okay, okay, okay. So what the hell is a looper pedal? All this other stuff is great. What is a looper pedal? A looper pedal lets you create instant recordings of a musical performance and plays those recordings back in real time. You can then begin overdubbing additional layers and ideas. But Blooper, ho oh, ho ho, Blooper builds on the Looper idea and lets you manipulate the recording in so many ways that it becomes musically unrecognizable. And that gets me extremely excited. It does this by modifying the recorded signal using these two modifiers. What, 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 what the heck is a modifier, Siki? A modifier lets you change the recording with different effects. These effects can cut and scramble the order of your recording, stretch it without changing the pitch, which adds a bunch of cool artifacts, and even do a tape stop effect. But those are just the ones that I can think off the top of my head. Blooper comes with a ton of effects that can mess up your audio in fun ways. And these cue cards explain what each of them do. These modifiers are the heart of what makes Blooper so exciting. You can select one of three effects for each mod knob using this switch. Smooth pitch is a modifier that lets you speed up and pitch your recording when turned clockwise. But what about counterclockwise? Did you see how quick and easy that was? Hey, do you know what else is quick and easy? Hitting the like and subscribe button, am I right? Did you do it? Did I'm so excited about this video. <laughs> now everything up until this point, the middle switch has been on the normal mode, which means that it functions like a regular looper. But if we move the middle switch to add, it means that we can now bake the effect into the recording simply by holding down the left switch while the recording is playing back. Now we can switch out modifiers and bake a different one into the recording and keep doing so until it's unrecognizable. But uh oh, I don't quite like that modifier right now. I'm gonna control Z that real quick by turning the layers knob counterclockwise to undo any recordings or baked in effect. Very good. At the top of the pedal, you'll find something called dip switches. These dip switches do a lot of other cool things, but one of them is allowing you to access a secondary bank of modifiers for each of those two modifiers. That's like...
12 more modifiers for you to get freaky with. There's just an unbelievable amount of creative possibilities so far. But wait, there's more, huh? Heck yeah, there's more. The stability knob in the middle lets you add a little analog feel into the recording. This includes wow, flutter, noise, filtering. But you guess it, there's even more. More. Very good. Yep, located on the side is a USB port that lets you connect the blooper to your computer. That's where you can use the Google Chrome interface to switch around modifiers to get a different order of effects, or you can download the recordings or layers that you've saved in the pedal as WAV files. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. If you search on YouTube for videos about the blooper pedal, you'll find a ton of videos doing some experimental music, some ambient music, and even something called Frippertronic. But how do you use it for rap, hip hop, melodies, samples? Blooper functions very much like a DAW. It lets you record and play back audio. But the real fun starts when you take a bunch of simple ideas, start adding a ton of layers and baking in modifiers till it's completely unrecognizable. And then recording it back into your DAW and chopping that audio file up into a rhythmic, repetitive composition. Just add drums. Very good. Let me show you. That's the melody that I made freaky using the blooper pedal. Now let me show you what it sounds like after I've chopped it up to the grid. As you can tell, both these layers sound a little bit dry. So I ended up adding a little bit of chorus from my favorite Native Instruments chorus plugin called Coral and a little bit of reverb to the first melody. And then I added Echo Boy to the second line to extend it out a little bit because it's a textural layer. Here's what that sounds like. Dude, that sounds so good. Let's see if we can find a cool bass to match the vibe of this. I think the last thing that I want to add to this is just some kind of cool, weird texture that's going to make you go, whoa, what was that? I was just going to add a little bit more, but I would have overdone it right there. Okay, let's add some crazy 808s to this now. Now the pedal is already pretty great, but there are two things that I feel like would make it even better. Number one, a all pink version or an all blacked out version. Blacked out with orange knobs, woo, let's go. Ooh, lime green, that would be cool too. And secondly, allowing third parties to make modifiers for the pedal. Like a volume modifier that'll let me make a tremolo effect or even a MP3 Kodak emulator that'll let me degrade the recordings in a lossy way. That would be amazing. Even a reverb. Ooh, let's go. This video, I am incredibly proud of it and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And if you enjoyed it, consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing, sharing it with a friend, or leaving a comment. Maybe when I hit 100,000, I would love to give one of these away. Go ahead and check out the Discord if you wanna be a part of my community. And if you're in the market for new sounds or you just wanna support the channel, check out the link in the description. You can try out the coupon code blooper to get 20% off your order. Yeah, see you guys next time.